Welcome to the herd nerd. Um, no, with a with a nerd herd. Hey, plan popper here, and today I'll be showing you how to make a four x four piston trap door, an improvement on my previous three x three version. Just a bit like that. The dimensions for it are eighteen by ten by two, so it is quite compact. Uh, let's get building, shall we? Right over here. So first off you dig your 4x4 four four hole, like so, and then uh, this build is dependent on the orientation, so if you look up at the clouds, see which direction they're going, like they're going that way, so we need to build oh, these two strips in relation to the direction they're going, so they're this way, okay? Now I just build around it, like so. And next to four there, actually put another one there. And there, like so. Okay. Now uh, start putting your pistons in place. So two double piston extenders there. Line across here. Okay, so like that. Now we need to start getting power to the pistons. So to do that, we just do oh, that across here. And uh, with these, I like to put a block of obsidian behind it because sometimes they get pushed by the one opposite. So this just stops that. So put two blocks out like that. A repeat there on four ticks of delay. And same for this side. So like that. And then just connect all these up, like so. Same for the other side. So, box of obsidian. Ball out like that. Okay, so uh, we've got all these working now. Now what we need to do is get a one tick pulse to these pistons and these and then keep them locked out after that one tick pulse. So to do that, three repeaters in a row, this one on full delay, then a piston here with a block on it, a line of three red stone, and then a repeater at the end, like that. So that uh, this bit's the pulse limiter here, and that uh, gives it a short pulse, pushes the block out, and then this one powers it and pushes it all the way out. So we just do that for all of them. And for this one. And the last one over here. Okay, so that's uh, all of it working. We'll just test out one side. So, say it's like that. Oh, we'll do the same for this side as well. Say it's like that, and we give it power. Oops, sorry, I forgot to connect this bit up here. So, we'll just right like that. And then, when we take away the power, they pull back and get to here. Now we just need the double piston extender to retrieve the four blocks in the middle. To do that, we put a repeater here with a block and a torch. A bit of redstone dust there, two repeaters, a piston there, and a block on the end. This is another pulse limiter. And with this bit, with, with this one here, we put that on two ticks. And then two pieces of material there and build four out like that and then drag your redstone dust up here two repeaters like that a repeater here on three ticks of delay 
and connect that up with this redstone here. Do almost the same for the other side. So, but this time you put a repeat here, full delay. That other one was only on one tick. A block with a torch on it, some redstone dust, two repeaters, a piston and a block. And this time, this one's on four ticks like that. And this one's on three. Uh, three. Now you just connect them up. So a repeater here with three ticks connected up to that redstone and just wire that bit up. We need to do the same for the other side. So it's a repeater oh, block to like that. One tick of delay. Sorry, one tick block there. Uh, build this bit. One there, three ticks there, and wire it up. Same on this side. Well, same uh, as in over there. So that's on four ticks. Four ticks and three ticks. Oops. And then wire them up like that. So that's on three ticks, and then wire that up. Okay, now the only... Uh, well, the last bit now is just to put those torches in and knock out these two blocks here and these two blocks here and put torches on the sides of those like that. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this design is connecting it up to the actual button, well, the actual lever, because you've got to power it between here and here at the same time. So... There's no strict way to do this, but what I do is, just, well, I'll just show you the simplest way, but this is obviously the way that you will not want it. There, there are quite a few ways to wire it, and just drag it across like that. Okay, like that. And just, so you put a lever here, and just connect it up to show that it works. So it's closed and now it's open. Another way that you could conceive it instead of putting half box over it would be to just cover it in sand because then there would be no difference in height at all. Uh, it does require you to place sand after the trap has been activated though. I'll, get, I'll show you how it works now. Like so. If you put a half box at the bottom, it stops the sand from actually being placed and it would just make blocks. But then after it, you do need to replace all the sand. Okay, I hope this uh, tutorial has been helpful to you. Have a nice day.